Good morning. How are y'all today? I'm going to turn myself up just a little bit so you guys can hear me a little better. There we go. Well, are you guys ready? How many of you are ready to see a magic show? Oh, that was horrible. I could barely hear anybody. We're going to try that again. How many of you are ready to see a magic show? Oh. You guys are just not loud enough. We're going to have to try this one more time. Really, really loud. How many of you want to see a magic show? Yeah! Well, okay. You don't have to yell at me. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to see how you guys are going to react today. Because, you know, a lot of times people have difficulty in knowing how and when to react and applaud. So... I want to share with you a story about one of the very first magic tricks I ever did. I was 12 years old. And I had made my own little magic box out of tape and cardboard. And I went down in my parents' basement. There were 20 people down there. They were all sitting on folding chairs. They were eating triangle sandwiches and popping chips. And I stood up in front of them, and I showed them that I had one, two, three, four, five big cards. And I took one of those cards, and I dropped it into the magic box. And I wiggled my fingers, and I snapped, and I still had one, two, three, four, five big cards. Yeah, that's how they reacted pretty much as well. Kind of stunned silence. So right about then is when you applaud. So let's tell you what, don't, don't do it yet. I'll give you another chance, okay? I'll tell you the story again, but this time, let's say I was six years old. You see, I couldn't spell quite as well at six as I could at 12. Okay, so I was down in my parents' basement. There were 50 people down there. They were all sitting on folding chairs. They were eating triangle sandwiches and popping chips. And I stood in front of them and I showed them I had one, two, three, four, five big cards. And I dropped not just one, but two cards into the magic box. I wiggled my fingers and I snapped and I still had one, two, three, four, five big cards. Okay, that was kind of okay. Not quite loud and exuberant enough. So I tell you what, I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to tell you a story one more time. And if we get a big, big round of applause, then I'll stay and I'll finish the show. But if I don't, I'm out of here. Okay? All right. Let's say I was three years old. <laughs> Down in my parents' basement. There were 200 people down there. And they were all sitting on triangle sandwiches and they were eating folding chairs and they were popping chips. And I showed them that I had one, two, three, four, five big cards. And I dropped not just one, not just two, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards into the magic box. And I wiggled my fingers and I snapped and I still had one, two, three, four, five big cards and the crowd went. Because then the cards disappeared too and they really went. Okay, I'll stay, I'll stay. All right. Well, guys, we are celebrating this summer reading program, and you probably see it. It's right over there, a universe of stories, and it's got, I just love to think about space and the universe, and my mind kind of goes to things like, oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I should start off with this. Guys, whenever I get finished with a trick, I'm going to say that was the end of that trick, and everybody's going to be so sad <laughs> because the trick is over. That everybody is going to take a deep breath and say, oh, oh. So let's practice on the count of three. Here you go. One, two, three. Oh. oh. 
that was pretty good, but I didn't have full participation, especially from the bigger boys and girls in the chairs. Let's try again. On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh that sounded so much better. But then I'm going to say, but I've got another trick. And everybody's going to be so happy and so excited that everybody's going to clap their hands and go yay really loud. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Yay! Perfect, perfect. All right. So again, my name is Mr. Terry. Can everybody say that? Mr. Terry. Awesome. And I just love thinking about space and things that might be different when you're out in space than they are when you're here on the planet. And one of the things I thought about was money. Would money be different, act differently in space than it would here? So what's your name? Sophia. Sophia, I noticed something. Can I borrow this for just a moment? Excuse me, just a minute. Thank you. Wow. Sophia, that's worth like over a hundred cents. Is that the most sense you've ever had up there? Is it? Okay. That is really interesting. Let me see. So that's, I've got one. Uh, let me see here. Oh, what's your name? Eva. Eva. Excuse me just a minute. Eva. Ah, oh, yes. Excellent. Eva. And uh, let me see here. Sir, what's your, what's your name? Eli. Excuse me a minute. Eli. Oh, Eli, you have no sense, apparently. Okay, so we're going to... I'm kidding, Eli. I'm kidding. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and what's your name? Emma? I've got two. I need one more. Excuse me just a minute. Thank you. That is awesome. Now, boys and girls, these coins were made back in 1921. That means they're almost 100 years old. Now, sir... You were around in 1921, weren't you? Can you check that out and make sure that's how you remember it? Exactly how you remember it. Awesome. So, boys and girls, we've now had it authenticated by someone who was there. And I wonder, you know, because coins that are almost 100 years old, they have passed from hand to hand over 10,000 times. And I kind of wonder maybe if they were in space, if they might do it on their own. In other words, pass from one hand to another just by themselves. Now, I'm going to show you what that might look like. So you guys watch very carefully right here where my fingers are. I'm not going to move my hands around a lot like this. I want to keep them still so you can see what's going on. I'm not going to hide the coins by closing my hands like this. I want you to be able to see everything that happens. So the coins are going to go from here to here. From these fingertips... To these fingertips from my right to my left just like that was that too fast a little too fast okay I'll do it again pay very close attention in fact I'll give you a hint here's your hint remember there's two on my right there's one on my left say it with me two on the right one on the left even if I switch my hands there's two on the right, there's one on the left. You guys got that? Two on the right, one on my left. You guys got that too? Yes? Okay. So, two on the right, one on the left. Now, you may be saying, Mr. Terry, would it look different if I was standing behind you? <gasps> it might, actually, because from the front, it looks like two here and one here, but from the back, it looks like one here and two here. Was that too fast? Yeah. Okay, how about we back up to where I had two coins here, one coin here, and that way I can do it one more time, and you can see what's going to happen. In fact, I'll tell you which coin's going to go next. It's the top one. Keep your eyes on that top coin. In fact, I don't want you to be confused. I'm going to hold the other one. That way you can just concentrate on this one. Watch carefully, because it's going to go slow motion. Na, 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 na. Na 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 but I got another trick! 
All right, well, I need someone who is sitting up straight with their hands in their lap, with a big smile on their face, and not talking about, shh, let me see. Hmm. For the first, for this one, I'm going to need a boy. Let me check here. It looks like I need a boy who has on a, it's, it says a red shirt with a baseball on it. Do we have any boys with, oh, yes, you would be perfect. Give him a big round of applause as he comes up. Step right up here for me, sir. Stand right on this side. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And what is your name, sir? Camden. Camden, that is a very cool name. How long have you had it? Long time? Six years? That's awesome. Nice job. And then, oh, you know what? Stand very still because I think I need actually one more person. Oh, yes, I do. I need, it looks like, a girl who has on, it looks, I'm not even sure if we've got this. It looks like I need a girl who's got on, is it, it can't be, it is, it's a unicorn on her shirt. Do we have any girls with a unicorn on, oh, we do. Okay, perfect. Come on up. Give her a big round of applause as she comes up. Step on up this way, if you would. If you'd stand right over there, and if you could stand next to the star, that would be great. All right, so what we're going to do is we're next to the star. I'm the star. Stand next to me. All right. <laughs> I love that joke. All right, and what's your name? What's your name? Adeline, wow, that's a very pretty name. How old are you? Five. Five years old, really? Wow. Did you know that's exactly how old I was when I was your age? I was. <laughs> now, Adeline, I'm going to move you this way just a smidge right about there. All right. And you're going to step up right there. Excellent. And your name was again? Camden. You are correct. Excellent job, Camden. All right. <laughs> now, guys, we're going to do something because you guys might not know this. The very first living creature to be sent into space on a rocket ship was a monkey. Yes, a monkey. And his name, it was, it was on a mission into outer space by, uh, the, by the Russian uh, people. And I brought the monkey with me today. Would you guys like to meet him? Yeah. Okay. Now, we also need a space superhero, and Camden, you are going to be our space superhero for us today. And because you are the space superhero, you get to wear a cape. Aren't you excited, Camden? All right, I'm going to tie this right like so, and just like this. Excellent. And Camden, give me your best superhero pose. Very nice. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. And you have to stand up nice and tall, head this way, big smile. Hee. Don't move. Don't breathe. Don't blink. Okay, you can breathe. You can breathe. Okay. Let me get out our space monkey. His name is Sputnik. This is Sputnik. And Sput... Oh, do you know what he says? Well, actually nothing. He's made out of cardboard. But if he could, he would tell you that he wants to show you guys how he can actually fly on his own out of the spaceship. Now, I need you to stand up again nice and tall. Stand up nice and tall for me. Perfect. Don't move a muscle. And we're going to get our rocket ship. And you get to hold one. Perfect. Both hands on either side. Excellent. And then I'm going to give one over here. And I need you to hold on to Sputnik in his rocket ship. Excellent. Can you feel him in there? Yep. All right. And what's going to happen is Sputnik is going to fly out of the rocket ship on this side. He's going to soar in the air over your heads. He's going to do 15 somersaults over you, and then he's going to right inside of that rocket ship. Now, Camden, very important that you don't hold it just like this. You hold it like this so he can kind of get inside, because if he doesn't, he might miss it and whoosh, give you a haircut. Okay? We don't want that to happen, especially with that nice of a hair. Okay, so... Just like so. Just like so. Excellent. All right. Now, what I need for this to happen is I need some magic space dust. You guys have some right above your head. Reach up. 
gets some magic space does. Hold it up high. We're going to throw it on the count of three. We're going to say the magic words. I forgot the magic words. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Who was that? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, have a banana. Yes, that's excellent. That is perfect because monkeys like bananas. So this is excellent. Okay. So we're going to throw it up on the count of three. And we're going to say have a banana. And he's going to fly and do the 15 somersaults and then right inside of there. Everybody ready? All right. Here we go on the count of three. Nice and loud. One. Two, three, and just like that, he is flying in the air, and he's doing the 15. Is he, is he still in there? He, excuse me just a moment. Yes, there's not one in there. Spudnik! You're making me look silly. All right, I think he understands now. Okay, here we go. Get your magic space dust. Throw it up on the count of three. Say it nice and loud. One, two, three. Have a banana. And there he goes. He's doing the 15 summer. Is he still in there? Shh. Is he still in there? Oh, my goodness. Spudnik! You're making me look silly. Stop it. All right. I think he understands now. Okay, here we go. Let's try one more time. On the count of three. Nice and loud. One, two, three. Have a banana. And he's jumping. He's... Is he still in there? All right, I've had it. Sputnik, now listen. We are... What? You're a statue, remember? Okay, we're going to... What's the problem? The other side? Ah! Oh, look! He actually did. He left. He actually left his card. Oh. Is he in there? Is he in there? He's not. Oh, dear. He's lost in space. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to look for him here, guys. Come on. We're going to go on a space trek. All right, or Star Trek. All right, here we go. We're going to look and see if we can find where Sputnik has gone. He... What? What? Is he on my back? Oh, is he on my back? He's not on my back. What? Ah! Oh, my God. Sputnik. What are you doing back there? He said he was just hanging around. Everybody give my assistants a big round of applause. Thank you guys. You can take a seat. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that. Well, that was the end of that trip. But I got another trip. All right. Let me see. I'm going to see, oh, oh, let me see. I'm going to need someone who's sitting up straight with their hands in their lap with a big smile on their face and not talking at all. For this one, I'm going to need a girl. I think I need a girl who's sitting in a chair. Ma'am, in the, in the pinkish shirt right there, can you stay right where you are and tell me your name? A little louder? Anna Marie. Anna Marie, that is a lovely name. How old are you? Nine years old. You are perfect for this. This is going to be awesome. All right, Anna Marie, you are going to get. We're gonna we're gonna see if in space you actually might be able to read someone else's thoughts, or maybe send your thoughts to someone else. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I have three pieces of paper on which I have put, I've drawn or written some things, three of them, and I'm gonna test you with the first two to see if you're ready for the big finale, okay? All right, so the first one only, is only going to have so many options. We're going to keep it small. Let's say a letter. Oh, let me make sure I got them in the right order. I think I do. Yes, a letter of the alphabet. So, Anna Marie, I need you to make your mind blank. Excellent job. Very good. All right, and now I'm going to send you one letter of the alphabet. Here it comes. Hmm. 
All right, Anna Marie, what was the first letter of the alphabet that jumped into your mind? A, amazing, that's exactly what I put on the piece of paper. The letter A. What, you guys don't read Japanese? No. You'll just have to trust me, that's A. Okay, so let's try again. We're going to make it more possibilities this time, Anna Marie. We're going to make it a four-legged animal. I'm sending it to you right now. All right, Anna Marie, what was the first four-legged animal that jumped into your mind? A dog. Amazing. That is exactly what I drew. A dog. I'm just not a great artist. Okay, thank you. Now, Anna Marie, it's time for the big finale. It's time for the gargantuan finale. Are you ready? Okay, Anna Marie, at nine years old, I'm going to let you drive a car. In your imagination. <laughs> it's your cedar face. Oh, in my imagination. Okay, so get into the car. You got better put your seatbelt on. You will get a ticket. Yes. Okay. So you are going to drive to the supermarket. And she's, oh, she's driving crazy. She's all over the road. All right. And she is headed to the supermarket. And Anna Marie, you're about to pull into the, drop, into the parking lot of the supermarket. Look up and see the sign that tells you which supermarket you're going to. Which one is it? Target. Okay, it's a super target. They've got a grocery store. Okay, fine. All right, and you're pulling into Target, and you're going to park your car. Okay. <laughs> I like it. And then you're going to get out. You better take that seatbelt off. It'll hurt. Okay, there you go. And then you're going to get your cart, right? you got to get your cart, and you take – oh, she does it one-handed. That's fine. Perfect. All right. And you're going to kind of go into the supermarket with one – yep. And she's, she's, it looks like you're driving the car again. I'm not sure. All right. And then you're going to get in, and you're going to go to the breakfast aisle, everybody's favorite aisle. And there's cereal all over the place. Now, when you look up above the aisle, there's a number of the – what's the number above the aisle? Exactly what I was thinking. You were amazing. All right. And you're going to pull in, and there's cereal all over the place, Anna Marie. Now, Anna Marie, you're going to pick cereal, one box, and it's going to be for everyone for their breakfast tomorrow. So make sure you pick something that you think everybody will like. All right? All right. Reach out. Grab one box of cereal. Now, Anna Marie, for the first time, I need you to do a loud voice so everybody can hear you. What was the cereal that you chose? Okay, we didn't go very healthy, did we? All right. That's okay because you're not going to believe me, Anna Marie. Look at this. Frosted Flakes. Isn't that amazing? It's not amazing? Maybe it's a little more amazing than you think. Everybody give Anna Marie a big round of applause. Well, that was the end of that trick. But I've got another trick! All right, I need somebody else who is sitting up straight. Hands in their lap. Big smile on their face. Not talking at all. Shh. All right, for this trick. Oh, for this trick, it looks like I'm going to need a boy. And it needs to be a boy who has on... I'm not even sure if I saw this today. Um, it looks like a boy who has on a white shirt with a baseball on it that has a Nike logo. Do we have any? Yes, sir, you would be perfect. Come on up this way. Give him a big round of applause as he comes down. Come on up this way. Stand right over there if you would. And sir, I tell you what, just because I want everybody to be able to see you a little bit better, if you'll walk around this way, and I want you to stand up on that chair for me if you would. Yep, stand up on the chair. You'll never be asked to do this again, probably. All right. But what is your name, sir? Boston. Boston. That's a really cool name. How old are you, Boston? Six? Really? That's pretty old. Are, are you married? <laughs> no. No, of course not. Well, wait, wait, wait. Why aren't you married? Oh, okay. Cause are, are you not old enough yet? I'm not. not. That makes sense. Not old enough yet. Well, Boston, I'm kind of curious. If you're not old enough yet, how old do you have to do you have to be before you get married? Do you think? I'll take a guess. Eleven. Okay. 
I, I see mom having a little talk after the show. Okay, so Boston, we're going to do a trick together today, but we have to have something very specific. We need some of the rope that they pull the space shuttle out of its hangar with. Did you bring some of that rope with you today? You didn't? You know what? I was afraid you might not have brought any, so I brought some with me just in case. Here it is. And Boston, what I need you to do is I need you to take this rope and I need you to test its strength. So grab it by one arm like this, grab it with the other arm like this, and go just like that. You have to do the sound effects. Yes, very nice, very nice, Boston. And then Boston, I also need you, uh, I need to borrow one other thing from you, and that is one of the, that's a piece of the space shuttle called an O-ring. It's, it's about this big around, they make it out of metal, it's kind of shiny. Did you bring one? You didn't bring, oh. all right, Boston. Well, you know what, just in case I brought one with me, I was afraid you might have forgotten yours. So I tell you what, I don't even have oh, you don't have one of those. Well, now you'll know what they look like. So. Here's what you're going to do, Boston. I need you to check this ring, this O-ring out for me. Make sure there are no holes anywhere around the ring. It's solid all the way around. Very important, okay? All right. Also, Boston, if you will make sure that there's no doors, trap doors that, like, open up somewhere. All right? Make sure it's real solid. All right. And also, if you will take and make sure that there's no, like, escaping gas hiding in there or coming out anywhere. All right? All right. Also, if you'll make sure that there are no elephants, alligators, or giraffes that have snuck into the ring and are hiding anywhere. Okay? Uh, all right. Or hippopotamuses. Okay. You check it out. While you're checking it out, I'm going to tie the, the, the rope into a circle. Raise your hands if you know what a circle is. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Ma'am, ma'am, it's a round thing. It looks like... She's got it now. She's got it. Okay. So what we have now is a puzzle. It's, it's a space puzzle. And the puzzle is you have to try to get the O-ring to come off of the rope. But you're not allowed to untie the knot. Now, guys, I've worked on this almost an entire year. I finally figured out what you need. You know what you need? Scissors. <laughs> no, you do. You need scissors. Did you bring any scissors? No. Boston, you need to start bringing some stuff with you. All right, hold on to this. I've got some in the table. I'm going to go get them. All right, we are good. Oh, my. Boston, I've dropped a ring somewhere. What? No. Boston, give me that. What are you doing? you do that? <laughs> well, I'm, but it can't just come off. You check it's solid, right? Didn't you check it? You checked it. Okay, well, we got to figure out what happened, Boston. So you what did I say? I said I was going to get the scissors, right? Then I handed you the ring. You held it, right? I went to go get the si Boston! Okay, I don't know what you did, Boston, but I tell you what, here, let's do this. I've got my safety scissors. Now, you know you have to be careful with scissors, right? I know. Okay, I got my safety ones, though. They're very safe. Yeah. Just take those, hold on to them. Yep, no, no, you hold on to your own. There you go, hold them up like this. Yes, excellent. And I need you to cut right there for me. No, no, right here, cut. <laughs> Perfect. Nice job. You guys didn't know he was such a sharp guy, did you? <sighs> now, if I've got... If you've cut, no, they're only one cut scissors. If I've cut, if you've cut it, how many pieces do I have now? Two. Two pieces, but I need one piece because, no, see, it's only one cut. All right, because I need one piece, so what we need is some super space super glue. Did you bring any of that? Yeah. I only got that oh, you only got that tree. It's <laughs> okay. I, oh, excuse me, my allergies. Do you, anybody of you guys have allergies? No. I've got. All right, so what we're going to, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I am so, ooh. that's disgusting. Um, oh, I don't have any Kleenex. Um, can I wipe it on the back of your shirt? Without, oh, I can't wipe it on the back of your shirt. Okay. Oh, wait. That's kind of sticky. That might work. Hold on. Let's just squeeze the two pieces together and just like. 
I was ready for you. But you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Boston, I want you to watch the ends of the rope for me. Don't hold them. Just watch them. Keep your... No. Just watch them very carefully. You're getting sleep. No, I'm kidding. No, we're going to put them in my pockets. So the ends go in the pocket. Now, Boston, where are the ends? Where are the ends of the rope? Boys and girls, where are the ends? In the pocket. In the pocket. Boston, get back up on your chair. All right, everybody get your magic space dust. We're going to throw it up on at the pocket on the count of three. But first, got to get my second pair of scissors and over here. So now we got two ends here. we got two ends in the pocket. Now, Boston, can you hold this? Yep, can you hold this end and hold very still? All right, everybody, on the count of three, throw your magic dust up at the pocket. Say the magic words. Here we go. One, two, three. No, it's half a banana. Here we go. One, two, three. And just like that, it goes right back together. Everybody give Boston a big round of applause. Thank you, Boston. You can take your seat. But that was the end of that trip. But I got another trip! All right. Well, let me see. It looks like I'm going to need somebody else who is sitting up straight with their hands in their lap with a big smile on their face and not talking at all. Shh. All right, let me see. It looks like I'm going to need... It looks like I'm going to need a girl who's sitting up straight. Let me see. This one looks like I need a girl who has on... I'm not even sure if we have this. Do we have a girl who has on like a bluish, like a blue greeny shirt that um, has a, it looks like a butterfly on the front of it. And maybe like pink, pink shorts maybe. I think that's what it looks like. Do we have anybody? Oh, oh yes, right here in the front row. Come stand right over here and let me get down here. All right, and what is your name? Emma. Emma, that's a very pretty name too. How old are you? Four and a half? Wow. That's pretty old, too. <laughs> That's pretty old, too. Now, Emma, are you getting ready to go into, into kindergarten soon? Nope, not, not this coming year. When I went to kindergarten, it was like my very favorite grade of all time. I mean, I loved it so much, I spent three of the best years of my life in kindergarten. It was awesome. I loved it. Now, we are going to do a trick together. Because I, something else about space I thought would be interesting is what kind of food you might take into space. So tell me, it's Emma, is that right? Emma, what is your favorite food of all time? Oranges. Wow. That sounds pretty nutritious. I like it. All right. So Emma, here's what I need you to do. Stand up right over here. And I need you to let your arms be loose. And floppy yes excellent very nice loose now you let me move them I'm gonna move them for you there we go loose and floppy awesome all right boys and girls I want you to raise your hand if you like to eat hot dogs all right put your hands down raise your hands if you like to eat spaghetti all right put your hands down raise your hands if you like to eat asparagus Ooh. How many of you know what asparagus is? That's what I thought. Okay. How many of you like to eat pizza? All right. That's a lot of you. All right. Now, let's see about candy. How many of you like to eat, um, I don't know. Can well, it's not really candy, but raisins. How many like raisins? raisins? Pretty good. Okay. Some of you. Some of you. How many of you like to have, like, a candy bar? Okay, how many of you like, oh, I don't know, like, uh, um, Snickers? Do you like Snickers? Snickers, all right, put your hands down. How many of you like to eat Three Musketeers? I don't know if that's even a thing anymore. Okay. Twix? Skittles? M&M's. Everybody likes M&M's, yes. Well, they had a lady 
at the M&M &M factory and they had to let her go from her job because she kept throwing away all the W's. So we're going to take the adults will get that. All right. So here's what we're going to do, because I think it would be really awesome if we could take M&Ms into space, because I think they would be like the perfect food. They don't melt in your mouth only. I mean, they don't melt in your hands only in your mouth. And so I brought a picture of some M&Ms. And how many of you have seen the commercials that have the big M&M people? Have you seen those? So I'm going to try and see if you guys can help me to come up with the best M&M person. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Emma and I'm going to draw a little M&M person. Okay? And you're going to help me after I draw the M&M person to kind of help fill him in a little bit. So a little circle like that. Oh, okay. I'm not quite the, <laughs> I'm not quite the artist. Let's try again. Make it a little bit more round. Perfect. Okay. And then he needs a mouth. And then some eyes. There we go. And then let's see. You know what? I'm going to kind of fix this little side here. Make it a little rounder. That's better. And then we're going to give him some little legs. Here. You want to give Draw his other little leg there. Oh, I like it. Very nice. And then I'm going to give him a little arm on this side. You want to give him a little arm on the other side? Very nice. I like it. And then, Emma, can you write the first letter of your name in E? Can you put a little E right there? Very nice. All right. Now, boys and girls, we now have our little figure that Emma has helped to draw. And... Now what we need is we're going to try to pick a color. Now, Emma, here's what I need you to do. I need you to pick a number, any number between, let's say, 1 and 10. Do you have a favorite number between 1 and 10? Quick, quick. 4. Are you sure? You're positive? Okay, here we go. We're going to start. Let's count. Can you guys count with me? 1, 2, 3, 4. Red. Emma, do you like red M&Ms? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Everybody's going to get your magic dust. You're going to hold it up really high. You're going to say the magic words nice and loud. And when you do, the, the, the little figure is going to color itself red. On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. And all I got to do is give it a little shake. And just like that. The color red. Everybody give Emma a big round of applause. Because Emma, not only did we change the M&M figure to red, but we changed all the M&Ms to red. Whoa! Everybody give Emma a big round of applause. Thank you, Emma. You can take your seat. Well, guys, have you had a fun time today? Let's see, how many of you remember what is my name? Yeah. Mr. Terry. Let's try it again. What's my name? Mr. Terry. Well, guys, that last trick is because I want to remind you something of this summer. No matter what color someone is, whether they're an earthling or an alien, make sure that you remember that everyone deserves to have some kindness shown to them this summer. That is the end of the show. Oh. But let me hear how much did you like this? Well, guys, if you would like some information about how to have me come and do a show for you, maybe it's a birthday party, maybe it's something for your church or your synagogue or another civic function, I have these little things called business cards. And if your mom or dad is with you or another guardian, have them come up and they can get one of those and maybe you might get to have me come and do something for you. But thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful summer. I'll see you guys again soon.